Grains. We're also told that grains are good for us. We quite often wake up in the morning, we'll have a bowl of muesli or, or, or our oats, uh, and we're told that these are heart healthy. But grains are high in lectins. Now, lectins cause up to five times more fat storage than insulin itself. So this study looks at the effect of uh, insulin against storing fat. And at the top here, we've got wheat germaglutinin. The effect on fat storage is five times higher from wheat germaglutinin, from the lectins in these grains, than it is from, uh, from the, the insulin itself. So we're eating these foods that we believe are healthy. And not only are we getting the insulin spike, but we're also getting the effect, the fat storage effect from the lectins as well. When we consume food, uh, we get the release of a hormone called leptin. Leptin is a satiety hormone. It tells us when we're full. Except lectins block leptin. Lectins block our body's ability to tell us that we've eaten and that we're full. So these grains, we feed grain to cattle to fatten them up. Why would we think that eating them ourselves is going to have a different impact? <laughs> I'm glad somebody laughed at that one. So when we consume these foods, they need to be absorbed through the microvilli in our gut. So our microvilli are these little finger-like uh, things lying in our gut. And we've got all of this sort of surface area to absorb these nutrients. So these nutrients come into the si system, they bind these microvilli and we absorb the nutrients. This is how we get the nutrients from our food. Except when we consume these lectins, these lectins like wheat germaglutinin, phytohemagglutinin, they bind to receptor sites on the microvilli and they block uh, our ability to absorb nutrients. So instead of having all of this sort of surface area to absorb these nutrients, these lectins have sort of caused this. So now we've got a much much a greater sort of reduced surface area to absorb nutrients. So now, not only are we having this sort of fat storage effect, uh, and we're getting the effect on leptin blocking our sort of satiety, but now we're also getting the effect of malabsorption. We're blocking our body's ability to absorb nutrients. So what do you think happens when you're consuming food and you're not getting the nutrients you need? You end up eating more. So this is a zoom out of the epithelial cells. When we consume these, uh, these foods, these grains, these heart-healthy grains, uh, high in lectins, they bind to the receptor sites of these epithelial cells, and when they do, they, they cause a the release of a molecule called zonulin. Zonulin re release uh, causes a gap in the epithelial cells lying in the gut. This allows undigested protein molecules to travel into the bloodstream, where the body creates uh, antibodies to fight them because they see them as foreign invaders, things that shouldn't be there. The problem with this it's through a process called molecular mimicry, the body starts attacking other proteins in the body that look the same. This is autoimmune disease. So it's this intestinal permeability is autoimmune disease, and grains are one of the biggest sort of contributing factors to autoimmune disease.